Still off of it. Is that all mine? Heaven, you know, I'll tell God, will you let them do it? How about me? How about all letting right, me Amen, yes. Amen. I will remind the Lord, amen, that he give mercy to someone. Where's my mercy? Amen. Ain't that kind of God he is? Yes. Ain't that yes. kind of God he is yes. for us? That's right, He's yes. no respected person. The Bible said that David reminded him of his yes. mercy. Hallelujah. Reminded him that mercy was plural. Amen. You give it to somebody else. How about my shot of it? Amen. Ephesians 6. Did I say that already? No, Ephesians 6. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Amen. I'm, God give me something good and I won't preach it. Amen. I almost wasn't even going to let it have Sunday school today. Amen. God is so good to us. We know this, but I'm going to read it anyway in verse 10. Amen. We should know this. We should have, I pray you have this underlined in your Bible. Amen. Sometimes we need to go back to these things, but God give me something good for us, amen, to, uh, to use. It says there, finally, amen, my brother, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. It says, put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. And it says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Does that know what it says? Yes. yes. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Now watch this. Stand therefore, having your loins girded about with truth, and having the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, above all taking the shield of faith, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Yes. Everybody see that? Amen. Boy, that sounds yes. good, ain't it? It is good. Sounds good, don't it? It is good. Sounds good. good. Gonna be a crazy title today. Crazy title. Here is the defense, but where is the offense? Mm -hmm. Everything I just read you was all defense. Mm -hmm. But where is the offense? Let us pray. Lord God, as we come before you, Lord, I already feel you. My God, in the name of Jesus, I feel you, Lord God. Lord, there is nothing like you, Jesus. There is nothing like you, Lord. Lord, I ask you right now, God, just to come in this place in a mighty way, Lord. Yes. Lord God, and we I know, Lord God, we are used to you showing up, Lord God. We've gotten custom, Lord, to, to cry it out and you show up, Lord God. We, we, we ask you and you come in this place. But Lord God, I know that we're in the last of it. We keep saying it, Lord. But I ask you right now, God, for the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Lord God, I ask you, Lord God, just if I have to stop preaching, it'll be all right because you in this place so mighty, Lord. I won't be offended one bit, Lord God, if you just begin just to show out in this place. My God, my God, that's what I want. That's my desire, Lord God, to fill you, Lord God, the abundance of you, Lord, and the power that you obtain, Lord God, your presence, Lord. My God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You might as well say hallelujah with me. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And I pray you got your sneakers on. Because we're going to run today. Amen. My God, in the name of Jesus, you can be seated if you can. Yes. Hallelujah. He's mighty church. Yeah. Amen. I'm gonna say this. I know football season just started, and I and I ain't gonna preach on football today. But I'll tell you, the most boringest game you can ever watch is two high-ended defensive teams play one another. That is the most boringest game that you'll ever watch. You know why? Because they never cross. Amen. And score a touchdown. Right. My right, brother Bo. That's the most boringest game you'll ever watch. Because you looking, amen, for your team to score. Mm -hmm. And that's what's wrong sometimes with us, amen. 
uh, Brother David, in this thing that um, we so defensive, amen, we can't score for God. Come on, Come on somebody, I'm just going to preach to you today. Amen, we just build up and build up and get all of this arsenic that we need, all these weapons of warfare that we need, but we don't never, amen, use them. But we claim we got them, amen. You know, it's good to have more. That's what Trump said, you know. It helps build the economy, amen. We need to get rid of some of these old bombs, amen. And to shoot them at the enemy, amen. To we create jobs, we build some more. Amen. This does good sometimes. Amen. If the church would get up, amen, and have havoc, amen, yeah. on Satan, amen. Let they be war in this thing. Let they be known that God is still on the throne, church. It do us good to battle some church. Yeah. My God, in the name of Jesus, but I, I want to I wanna share something with you. Amen. That the, the God give me. Amen. I'd like to take you. Uh, let me see how I can do this. I got a lot. Amen. And I don't know what to do with it, but it's all right. Amen. He just, uh, he just mighty. Amen. He's mighty when he pours it out. Amen. But I, I, let me just stay here in Ephesians a minute. There's nothing wrong. Please understand being equipped. Amen. I don't want anybody leaving here today and say, Brother Kenny said, Amen. I didn't need the shield of faith or uh, I didn't need the helmet of salvation. I didn't need the spirit of truth. I don't want that ever to be seen, said, Amen, about me. You've got a habit or you won't make it. Amen. But uh, what I'm saying, Amen, we stand in defense uh, way too much. Amen. When we ought to be pressing, Amen, forward. Amen. Some of our arrows are rusty. Amen. Amen. I'm telling you right now, Brother Bo. Amen. Uh, the string on the compound bow church is full of dust. Amen. Because we 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 dare not pull it back. Amen. And shoot an arrow against the enemy church. You can believe it or if you don't want to, it's all right. Amen. But I, I want to share something to you, to you that God has given me. Where is the offense in this distressed time that we live in at? Where is the pray place that we're going to approach? Amen. The enemy's lines. Amen. And say, you know what? We're going to take this. Amen. For God. Amen. We're going to take this here. Amen. And turn this bad into good. Amen. We're going to take it and know that God is for me and not against me. I'm not talking about being arrogant. I'm not talking about showboating. What I'm talking about, amen, is get out of this place of defensive mode. There comes a time, amen, the Bible says to resist him and he flees. The Bible said that we can rebuke him, we can bind him up. I get that point, amen, but the problem of it is, amen, that's what we do and we're counter punching, amen, Satan, amen, when we ought to be throwing the punch. Come on, somebody. And I'm just going to tell you up front, it's going to blow your mind, amen, how to throw that punch. Come on. Amen. It's going to blow your mind, amen. The Bible says in Psalms 27, amen, get you some confidence. Amen. you got to have confidence in this. Amen. I'm going to take you somewhere. I ain't going to preach long, amen, because we're going to have church, amen. I'm going to get you out of the mud. When you leave here, you're going to have testimony. You're going to have at least say, I learned something today. Amen. That I can shoot the arrow. Amen. I can take my enemy. Amen. And I can bring the fight. Amen. Over there. I don't have to wait till he comes to my house. Amen. To fight him. Amen. Sometimes that's our problem. We got things so built up, brother, we can't get out. Amen. We got it stacked up to the roof. Amen. That we can't get out and fight. We're so defensed. Come on. That's right. I tell you what, get on your phone when you leave here and, and, and look on your phone and Google this. Who spends the most money on defense? Mm -hmm. It'll blow your mind. <laughs> United States of America. Got everybody beat ten times over. And you would think some of these other countries that's big yeah. would spend more money, but we 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 the we the top dollar. Brother, we are the top dollar. Watch this in verse 20, chapter 27 and verse 1. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is my strength of my life. Of whom 
shall I be afraid. Amen. When the wicked, even my enemies and foes, came upon me to eat my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Everybody see that? I need y'all to grab this today. I want you to leave here, amen, to understand something, amen. Amen. We are equipped for a reason. We've got this knowledge of the power, Brother David, of the Holy Ghost. Amen. I get it. We can't measure the power. I get it that we can't measure the I am. I get all of that. Please understand. But what you have got is way more than the enemy's got. Way more. Way more. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Amen. And it says, though a host of enemy, excuse me, though a host encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Through war shall rise against me. In this I will be confident. And one thing that I desire, amen, of the Lord, that I will seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire of his temple. Everybody see that. Amen. amen. And it's good and it sounds good and it's good. Amen. Woo, we want to shout and we want to praise in this mode, man. Man, we just get more and more Jesus. Well, it won't do you no good to get more and more and more of Jesus if you're not using it. Come on. Come on, That's right. Come on somebody. That's right. Me and Sister Jennifer put up some peas and snap beans and butter beans, you name it. We, we put it up. I, I got out of garden and we grew it and we put it in them jars. And I've come to the conclusion, I just didn't think she tightened some of them lids down tight enough. But some of them are beginning to go. I'll be reading the Bible at 2 o'clock in the morning I hear. Where they unpop it. But we, and, 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 and it's pretty sitting there. Sister, uh, Sister Angie is beautiful. All them jars lined up. All that hard work. I mean, it's pretty. But I got them. And tell you means I got them. We got them, don't we, sister? Squash, we got them. I bought the big mason yards for the squash. I mean, I got buckets. I got, got big, big ones. And it's pretty. But here's what I'm telling you. You can fast. And you can pray, and you can fast, and you can read that Bible, and you can set all that up in a ray, amen, in your spiritual life, but it don't do no good, amen, if you ain't opening that jar and using it, amen, for somebody else to partake, amen, because what happens, amen, some of it is going to go... And you're going to lose some of it, amen. And I'm going to tell you, Jesus said, freely you receive this, amen. I give it to you and it costs you a dime. But what I expect you to do is take it and give it. Yes. And that's what we're missing in this thing, church. I'm taking you somewhere. I know you think I'm crazy. But it's all right, I'm taking you somewhere. Watch this. I want to talk to you about that word praise. And I want to talk to you about the word thank you and thanks. Amen. This is where, amen, it's going to kind of blow your mind. Because we come in the church house. And we witness this. We would go out there and we witness how we praise the Lord. And how we thank Him. And the word thanks. I want to give definitions. Because in a minute, it's going to say, oh my God, it's going to hit you wrong. And then you're going to say, well, I didn't know that. But you remember, if you've been here long enough, you remember me telling you that the Old Testament, they never they named everything for a purpose. Mm -hmm. right. Everything's named. Brother Bobby didn't do nothing without purpose behind it. Right. Whatever happened, there was a purpose behind it. So let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. Give you some things here. The word thank you means to polite expression. Used to acknowledge a gift or service or a compliment. That's what thank you means. Polite. The word thanks is an expression of a gratitude. But Webster says this about praise. It's an express warm approval or admiration. Warm. Bible tells me if I'm warm, I'm going to get... That's what it says in Revelation. And sometimes 
We want them in this thing. Right. The Holy Ghost was given us for it to be what? Hot. Hot. Right. Come on, somebody. Hot. Hot, but I'm taking you somewhere. I'm just, I'm trying to lay a foundation. I, ain't, I won't preach in a minute, but I'll get this foundation laid to where it makes sense to you. They is seven Hebrew words of praise. Seven words. And I go ahead and tell you, if you want to get these notes afterwards, you can, because I know I'm not going to pronounce these words just right. I get it. I'm from Florida, so I'm not from the East. But the first word, if I'm saying it correctly, or y'all may spell it and let y'all say it, it's H-A-L-A-L. Hala, am I saying Hello. it right? Hala. Hala, it means to jump, dance, to be loud, and and loud and clamorous. That's in Psalms 150, verse 2. The next word is T-O-W-D-A-H. How do you say that? To dial. T-O-W-D-A-H. Tauda. Say it again. Tauda, I guess. Tauda. It means to lift hands and give thanks. We do that in here, right? Yes. 107, Psalms 107, 22. <laughs> Shabbat means a loud, joyous, Shout of testimony. Shabbat. S-H-A-B-A-C-H. Shabbat. Psalms 145 and 4. Zamar. Z-A-M-A-R. What me and Sister Jennifer does up here. To worship the Lord while playing an instrument. <laughs> Psalms 98, 4. Barak. B-A-R-A-K, if I'm saying it correctly, means to kneel in reverence and submission. Psalm 66, 20. Everybody's so good so far. You can take a screenshot this, this if you want it. And I want to say if I'm saying this correct, Tehila, T-E-H-I-L-L-A-H, means to sing a spontaneous, unrehearsed song unto the Lord. From your, from your spirit. Psalms 22, 3. Now all them sounds pretty good. But the seventh one is the most awesome one. This is the one that all that armor you got is going to do you some good. Your dad. Y-A-D-A-H. Your dad. The root word, excuse me, it means to throw your hands up and forward while making a confession about God. The root word da, D-A-H, means to shoot or to launch. That's what that word means. Think about it for a moment. It means when we as a people you got all this whole armor of God on. Get the visual of this. And you all cooked up. You know, that's what, amen, that uh, King Saul wanted to do to, to, to David. Amen. Wanted to put all his armor on there, on him before he went out. Amen. To, to face Goliath. Am I right so far? Can I get an amen? amen? But you remember what David said about Saul's armor? Does anybody remember what he said? It was unfamiliar to him. Yeah. Right. Come on, somebody. Yeah. It was unfamiliar to him. Yeah. What he knew, what he knew was to praise. Yeah. What he knew was Yadar. Amen. What he knew, amen, is to go forth and let thy word go for him. Amen. That's what he knew. It was lost before he ever got there. Amen. That's why he was accustomed to church. Amen. We can have all the defense of God. And there's nothing wrong with that church. But when we throw our hands up and we begin to exalt, when we begin to move in this aspect, amen, you make that enemy run because you begin to launch the power of the Holy Ghost. My God, in the name of Jesus, it ought to make you want to shout. Tonight, 
Ah, God, in the name of Jesus. Come on, you might as well come in and have church with me. I mean, you might as well. Amen. It's time, amen, that they see that we are equipped, amen, to launch out, amen, against the enemy, amen. I'm with Trump. It do good to be in war. It do good for us, amen, to march against the enemy today. It do us some good, amen, to roll up our sleeves, amen, and get out there in the ditches with it. All right, amen. <laughs> Isaiah 25, the heading of my chapter, is praise to a God for deliverance. By the way, that you die. If I'm saying it correctly, I know when people get burnt out on the radio, hear me say if I'm saying it correctly. But it's all right. I got a southern accent. Amen. When I should have been in English, I was outside fighting. So the Bible says you read what you sow, so they're going to have to hear it like that. Right. It'll be all right. Amen. I've learned that that is my fault. It ain't the teacher's fault. It's Kenny's fault. Amen. I had a shot at it, and I just didn't want it. Amen. But I'm here to tell you, church, if you just grab this today, amen, chapters 25, 26, and 27 of Isaiah, Amen. The Bible said here in verse 1, it says, O Lord, thou art my God, and I will exalt thee. I will praise thy name. For thou hast done wonderful things. The counsel of all are faithfulness and true. Everybody see that. Amen. Amen. And it goes on. Amen. And it says, For thou hast made of a city a heap, a defense city, a rear, a ruin, a palace of strangers to be no city. It shall never be built. Amen. Therefore shall the strong people glorify thee. The city's terrible nation shall fear thee. Amen. And I got that parenthesized in my Bible. Amen. The strong brother is going to praise. Amen. And the enemy is going to run. But you and I have got to understand. God give us the whole arm of God. Amen. Not to sit on the shelf. Amen. Not to brag about it's in cans. And it's going to charge and it's going to last forever until I decide to crack it open. But it's to be used, brother. Amen. And the way that you get the enemy to run, amen, is you die. Amen, you've got to get them on the run. you got to want to get up. Amen, what Sister Jennifer said, has anybody got a testimony where your enemy just encamped around you because you were tight-lipped. You were on their side instead of jumping up and saying, yeah, I got something to say. Amen, my God is real. Amen, I got something to tell you. Amen, they tried. But yet I begin to praise. Amen. And I run him back. Come on. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. For thou hast been a strength to the poor. Been a strength to the needy in distress. A refuge from the storm. A shadow from the heat. When the blast of the terrible ones it is a storm. Excuse me. Is as a storm against the wall. He says he brings it down. Everybody see that? Yeah. Look at verse 8. He says he will, he will swallow up death in victory. And the Lord God will wipe away the tears yeah. from their face. Amen. I'm telling you, I'm not here, amen, to lose. I'm here because I believe I'm on the right side of this thing. I believe, brother, we're going to make it. Amen. I'm just telling you right now, church, if you can understand you need the whole armor of God, you will not make it. I'm not making it fun of Ephesians chapter 6. The Bible said when, you, when you've done all is to stand. But the Lord, amen, that's the reason. If you read it real closely, there is nothing to protect your back in Ephesians in chapter 6 and it's because we're not to run God's got your back you're supposed to face the enemy amen and move forward in this thing the enemy runs not us come on that's right that's right Chapter 26, it says from the beginning to head of my Judah will sing praises to God. That's how my chapter's titled. Verse 2, open your gates. 
that the righteous nation will keep it, the true may enter in. Thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is to stay on thee because he trusts in thee. Trust in the Lord forever, for he is the Lord Jehovah, is everlasting strength. Come on, but if you don't say that, if you don't tell your enemy that, if you don't launch that, come on. Right. Amen. The Bible, we just said it in class. Amen. Ain't Mary said it. That every knee is going to bow. And every tongue is going to confess. And I know what you're thinking. Well, that's just the human race. Well, I got to tell you, there's some demons out there, brother. Amen. There's some devils out there, poor. Amen. There's an antichrist. There's a mark of the beast. Amen. There's Satan. I'm just going to tell you right now. They all, one day, when they crown him king of kings and lord of lords, they all going to acknowledge that he is. And you might as well as to go on and tell them now who he is. Mm -hmm. That's right. Proclaim it. Mm -hmm. Chapter 27, the song of vineyard. Where it's going to refresh you. My God, in the name of Jesus. Where you can drink and sup with the Lord. Go read these three chapters, amen, in order to liberate you. Seven words of praise. The world says it's warm. Praise is warm. I recollect, I, I beg to differ, brother. Right. Amen. If greater is he that is in me, right. it's going to be stirred hot yes. at all times. I realize who my creator is. I realize the power that he obtains. I realize I've read the back of the book. I've cheated church. Amen. I, did, I went to the back and he said they all going to be thrown in the lake of fire. But he's going to call us in and say, my good and faithful servant, make sure that you say that church and make sure that you understand it. You've got to have faith. Amen. To stand against your enemy and praise him. That's why the, my God, that's why the prophet told King Jehoshaphat, amen, to send the musicians, send the worshipers out there. They need to launch. Come on, they need to launch. That the enemy will turn on themselves and kill one another. Remember what Jesus says, except the days be shortened. Yes. Right. Because of man fear, mm. I don't fear. Mm. I'm not talking flesh here. Mm. Hey, something inside of me will not allow me to fear. Mm. I'm getting excited. Mm. Almost home. Yes. I'm getting excited. Mm. Almost time to get out of here, brother. Almost. Amen. Amen. I'm ready. Amen. Be prepared. That's what Moses told him. Sleep with your shoes on tonight. Yes. Pack your bags. Amen. This is the night. Amen. We're getting out of here. Amen. We forget that church. We're just forgetting stuff. Amen. I'm telling you right now. Amen. Don't be caught. Amen. In a worldly mode of praise. Right. Come on. Amen. Yeah. Come on, brother. Lord, get out of a church that will not get up and express the power thereof. Right. Come, on. Come on, somebody. Y'all yes, don't need don't sit in a church building. Let's do it that way because we're supposed to be the church. Right. It will not, amen, allow you to lay hands. Oh. Amen. And anoint the sick. Right. Amen. And oh my God. And so the God in the name of Jesus and the ones that's in bondage, the ones that's bound up. Amen. I'm telling you right now, church. Amen. I'm telling you. We have seen it in this place. Me and Sister Jennifer, we prayed one Wednesday night for a, a lady from overseas here. Amen. And I looked at Jennifer. I said that Satan is choking her. You remember that? Amen. Choking her. She can't talk. Amen. And we would begin to rebuke. And I'm telling you, that woman coughed up that demon out of her. Did she not, Mama? Amen. And I'm telling you, but she was choking to death. Lay out here, church. And I'm telling you something right now. This church launched out the name of Jesus above all names. My God, in the name of Jesus. And there was deliverance. Yes. Hallelujah. Woo! Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 So if I seem fanatic to you, if I get loud, I'm sorry. It's just hot. 
That's right. It's just hot. It's just hot, brother. It's just hot. Right. It's just hot. Yes, it's just hot. Yes, yes. My daddy said one time, amen, that he worked, amen. He went to a carnival when he was young. Guy had the dancing chicken. Right. Couldn't ever figure out why the chicken, he could get the chicken to dance for him. Come on. Until he walked behind the booth and pulled the curtain back, ain't Mary. Mm -hmm. And he said the guy had a burner back there. Yeah. And he was turning the burner up. Right. He got the chicken to dancing. Right. I said, I was getting the chicken to dance because it's heating him up. Mm -hmm. Sometimes Sister Crystal Satan wants to pour the, to pour the heat on you and I with this artificial praise. That's one of the in the Hebrew words. Amen. Come on, we'll go back and give it to you. I'll snapshot it and make you want to be a dancing chicken. Amen. The Bible says what I've done all is to stand. Amen. I, I got truth in this. I've been equipped. Amen. To stand. I've been more than equipped. Amen. I've got the power to launch out the power of God in this thing by the name of Jesus Christ, the one that died for my sins, church. I have the power to get the enemy not just bound, just not to resist. Amen. And I'm telling you, I got him on the run, church. Okay, now always remember what David said. I'm just not familiar with your armor. That's right. But what I got, and Saul said, oh no, you'll never go. I said, oh, you don't understand. That's right. I met a bear mm -hmm. and I met a lion out there with just this right here. And that's all I ever needed. Because I was in launching mode with my Lord. Amen. I was praising. Amen. I was worshiping. I was intriguing him. Amen. I was luring him in. He was wooing me and I was wooing him back. Come on. Come on, somebody. Right. Amen. So when the enemy came, the Bible said, if you go back and read it, he said, and the Spirit of the Lord came upon me. That's right. Come on. Jesus. There come a time. That whole armor of God ain't made don't do you no good if the Spirit of the Lord don't come on you. Right. That's why the church, the Baptist, the Methodist, you name them, whatever flavor you want to call yourself. If the spirit ain't there, it won't do you no good. Right. If the spirit make you feel alive. Right. The letter killeth, but the spirit make it alive. The Bible said he breathed into the nostrils of a man. And he became a living soul. Amen. I'll tell you something. When the Holy Ghost came into me, it became a living soul. Come on, somebody. It makes me want to run. It makes me want to be alive, church. That's right. I've said it before, I have this relationship with Satan. It's real easy. He hates my guts and I hate his. It's real simple. No love lost there. We, we have a relationship. It's a firm foundation. I'm not ashamed of it. And I'm bold enough to tell him I hate you. And I'm going to see you burn one day. I'm going to see you pay your dues. I'll give it to you what God wants you to have, but all I know to tell you. 